as dawn breaks over the Yamuna. The waters are serene in the morning light. But if the Yamuna could speak, she would tell a rich and fascinating tale. For it is here on these fertile banks that the mighty cities of Delhi, Agra and Mathura have risen. There are many famous monuments here. But the most famous structure to have ever risen here is the Taj Mahal, one of the seven wonders of the world. It was built by the fifth Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan, grandson of Akbar the Great, in memory of his queen Arjumant Mano Begum, also known as Mumtaz Mahal. The Taj Mahal can be accessed by the east, west and south gates. Entry to the inner compound is through a very impressive 30-meter red sandstone gateway inscribed with verses from the Quran. A glimpse of the translucent white marble structure and it is clear why the Taj Mahal is called the most beautiful monument on earth. Shah Jahan met Mumtaz when he was just 14. So enthralling was her beauty that he fell in love with her at first sight. He married her in the year 1612 and bestowed her with the name Mumtaz Mahal, meaning Jewel of the Palace and the highest honor of the land, the Meheruzaz, the royal seal. Shah Jahan could not bear to be parted from Mumtaz so he would take her with him even into war. It was on one such expedition in 1631 that she died after giving birth to their 14th child. Devastated by her death, he decided to build the most beautiful monument on earth in honor of his beloved queen. The Taj Mahal stands on a raised marble platform which means that the backdrop is only sky, a master stroke of design. It stands 73 meters high, which makes it four feet taller than the Qutub Minar. The Taj complex is entirely symmetrical and consists of five major constituents, namely Darwaza, the main gateway, Bagicha, the gardens, the Masjid, mosque, the Nakkar Khana, the guest house, and Raza, the main mausoleum. The central Taj structure is made of semi-translucent white marble from Makrana in Rajasthan. The turquoise came from Tibet, the jade from China, while the red sandstone was sourced from the neighboring quarries of Sikhri and Dholpur. With Ustad Ahmad Lahori, the Persian chief architect at the helm, an army of 20,000 artisans built the Taj Mahal between 1632 and 1648. Architects, masons, stonecutters and calligraphers were commissioned from the entire Mughal Empire, even from as far away as Central Asia and Iran. Referred to as darwaza e Rosa or Gate of the Mausoleum, the main gateway is an imposing structure adorned with Arabic calligraphy of verses from the Quran. It is made up of black stone set in the marble. An optical illusion has been created so that the size of the letters appears consistent all over the arch, from the top to bottom. This was done by gradually increasing the size of the letters in a pre-calculated manner as their distance from the eye increased. Since Islamic tradition forbids the decoration of graves, Shah Jahan and his wife are actually buried in a plain crypt beneath the main inner chamber of the Taj Mahal. The cenotaphs above are adorned with semi-precious stones and surrounded by perforated marble screens to transmit light into the burial chamber. Purely decorative 43-meter high white minarets grace each corner of the platform. They have been deliberately placed at a distance to emphasize the beautiful and spherical dome. 
the minarets are designed to lean slightly outwards so that in the event of an earthquake, they would fall away from the precious Taj. The mosque on the left faces Mecca. It is a red sandstone construction inlaid with white rectangular marble. It has three entrances and is richly decorated with marble inlay work. The Nakkar Khana, known as the guest house, was originally used as a rest home for guests on the anniversary of the death of Mumtaz Mahal. It also served as a gathering place for those who came to pray at the mosque. The Charba Gardens, a design inspired by Persian gardens, is set over 300 square meters and uses raised pathways that divide each of the four quarters of the garden. The water is meant to signify the rivers of paradise. With the discovery of Mehta Bagh or Moonlight Garden on the other side of the Yamuna, the interpretation of the archaeological survey of India is that the Yamuna River itself was incorporated into the garden's design and was meant to be seen as one of the rivers of paradise. The Taj Museum is within the Taj Mahal complex and houses precious objects besides the original plans and color drawings. The Taj Mahal has been described as the greatest work of architecture to be ever accomplished by man. But it is the story of eternal love that it will always be remembered for. The love of a heartbroken king for his beloved queen, etched forever in the collective memory of mankind. <laughs>